back with more Funko Pop hunting. Today is a very interesting kind of combination of some of the hunting that we've done in the past where we did do some actual in-person hunting. So I was able to go to a couple stores and find some cool pops that uh, some were kind of even surprising to me that I was able to find them. But then some other ones I pre-ordered or ordered online that came from some kind of random stores. So we're gonna go through real quick today, uh, see which ones we got, I'll let you know what I paid for them, and then we'll just look up the PPG value and see what that's looking like. So where we're gonna start, it's kind of random, so we're gonna go with some of the ones that we actually just ordered online and we're able to get. So one that popped up for me is one I've been looking for and I missed originally when it came out for the first run. Then it is Blade. So this is the 2021 Summer Convention Limited Edition Blade Funko Pop. This one was exclusive to Walgreens. And I don't know about you, but the Walgreens that I have up here in Maine did not have this one come in. Uh, or if it did, there were very few of them and I didn't know it was going to be there or knew it was there. So uh, I missed this one when it first came out. My buddy Cody, he texted me and sent me a link saying, hey, go get this. I swear it must have been five minutes after like I didn't read the text and I got it and then it was all sold out. So that's gonna be one that was really cool. He was just going for normal PPR, just normal value. So I think uh, on tar maybe 11 or 12 bucks because it's a limited edition one on Walgreens. So uh, we'll see what his value is as we get towards the end. Uh, another one that I got that's from a more random place that I don't normally get pops is actually Amazon. So on Amazon, I was able to find, boom. And this is, this is an important one. So this is actually uh, part of the series that kind of got me involved in Funko. So I don't think I have them over here, but one of the ones that I have that is one of my favorites that really got me rolling is Jack Burton. Boom, right here. So that's uh, Kurt Russell's character from Big Trouble in Little China. So this is one of the classic 80s movies, John Carpenter, Kurt Russell. And I've been meaning to try and get more and more of these. I have about half of them now. I have Low Pan, that's Glow in the Dark, and uh, I have Rain, I believe. Rain, Thunder, and Lightning are the three storms from the movie, if you know. And I already had Rain, but I was able to get Lightning for like 20 bucks, which is still under his PPG, but uh, we'll look that one up in a second, but this was definitely one that I wanted to get, and it came. Uh, the only my concern with Amazon is don't really know where they're coming from, per se, and or what the condition's gonna be in, but this one came, and it looked really, really good. The box was nice and crisp all around. So from there, I was able to go, and I believe it was Books A Million that I ended up getting this one. Yes, and it is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. One of the movies that scarred me as a child growing up, uh, very much so because you had a bunch of these types of clowns running around killing and eating people or turning them into cotton candy things that they drink you as they uh, you know, everything melts inside. It's kind of like what spiders do, I guess, and I'm thinking about it. Either way, it was really gross, terrifying, and I was so happy to find these. They came out a couple of years ago, I believe, or earlier this year, and uh, I just missed, actually, the release, and they've been sold out a lot of places, so I was really happy to grab him. There's a couple more that I'm looking for. I think there's two other common ones, and then maybe one that's uh, a little special that I'll try and get. So, again, normal value for him, but we'll see what he's worth down the line. Then, going based off of that, going to actually two books a million, I was able to find, uh, you got a little Grogu. So it's just a little baby Grogu or baby Yoda. He's so cute. Uh, this is from The Mandalorian. So there's quite a few there. I haven't really gotten any of the other ones from The Mandalorian and I don't, I'm probably not gonna get a whole lot of Star Wars ones because that's just a whole nother uh, rabbit hole I don't need to go down. But what this is really cool about this one, if you haven't seen it before, it's a normal size box. So this is the, what, three, four inch pop, but it's basically displayed in a horizontal setting and I really liked it. And again, he's just one of the ones that the pop looks like what the character's supposed to. So he is definitely awesome and a good find. Again, he was cheap, so I think he was $8.99 or $9.99 maybe, so normal price. We'll see what he's like down the line. Then from there, we were able to go to Hot Topic and check it out. They didn't have a ton that I wanted because I'd gone pretty recently, but I did find, yes, it is Hello Kitty in a cup of noodles. So that is Hello Kitty in the Cup of Noodles and it is a diamond uh, collection, limited edition Hot Topic. So I don't actually know why I got this one. I thought it was pretty cute. I like the diamond style. And then I also just think that this might be one that uh, ends up going up in value a little bit, but we'll see. Then from there, our last real stop was GameStop. So GameStop had a couple cool ones. We had Deadpool and this is Deadpool as an artist, so artist Deadpool. And uh, this is part of 
just the Deadpool line. And there are just a ton of Deadpool Funko Pops. And I never really set out to collect Deadpool Pops because there are quite a few of them, but just ended up grabbing random ones at uh, different points. So I ended up having a really pretty large selection of the actual collection. But this one was pretty neat. Again, GameStop exclusive. So I was like, ah, we'll give it a shot. It was $11.99. I think actually between this one and the next one I got, I forgot I had a $10 off coupon for GameStop. So I actually ended up basically getting one for free. So either I got that one for free or I got this one. And yes, it is Gremlins. So this is one I knew was gonna be coming out and I didn't actually get to pre-order it because a lot of the pre-orders sold out. Um, but then it just happened to randomly walk into GameStop and they had a great one and he is awesome. I believe this is Spike. So the bad guy from the first one and he's got the 3D glasses. He's just a cool looking little pop though. I was very happy to get him. Again, he was the same price, $11.99 normal, but I had the $10 off. So I ended up basically almost getting them both for the price of one. Now the big one that came in that I've been super excited about and I honestly also kind of forgot that I pre-ordered it a while back uh, from GameStop and then finally came in was, yes, yes it is Jaws. And this is the shark attacking the boat. So if you are familiar with Jaws, you know the scene. And it is just a really cool pop. This is fairly positive. Jaws is my favorite movie, so this one was very important to me, and I'm definitely gonna try and make sure I complete the collection as best possible. But I ordered this one a while ago, and was really happy when it came in. And it came in when the box was in really pretty good condition. A couple little dings here, there's a little, little flap issue there, but other than that, for me, it's fantastic and I love it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run through all of them and just see what we did as far as value-wise. Okay, so we're gonna be starting back at Walgreens, where we ended up getting Blade. Again, he was just normal price, so for their pops, I believe it was probably like 11 or 12 bucks. Uh, then you had to pay shipping, so that was probably another five. So it'll be all probably 17 bucks or so. And he's currently sitting at, let's see, summer convention, 47. So he's sitting at 47 bucks. I knew he was a pretty pricey one. Uh, that's why I was also pretty happy when they actually had that restock. I don't know if that's gonna affect the value down the line, but I had been looking and trying to find one under 40 or 50 bucks, honestly more like 50 bucks online and hadn't been able to find very many or they could get sold really fast. So I was super excited to find him. So he'll be in the collection for a little while and that's definitely a good profit on that bad boy. Now let's get to Amazon Classic Lightning from Big Trouble in Little China. And I think this is probably the one that I paid the most for out of this just because it is an older pop. This is 2015. So this one, again, they vaulted, I'm fairly positive, and they're not making them anymore. And he's currently sitting around 25. So I actually did pay less than what his PPG is for. Uh, maybe including shipping is probably around that, but he's definitely very important and he will be with me for a while. So that's not bad at all. Then we'll go over to Books A Million. We'll look at uh, our killer clown from outer space. This one is Shorty, is the name of the killer clown. They had some really interesting kind of creepy names. They're just so cool, cool and creepy. I love it. It's sitting at 15 bucks, so he's definitely more, he's worth more than I paid for him. I think at most he was 11 bucks. So end all be all, he's gonna be in my collection. Uh, hopefully I'm able to get the other ones to go with him, but that's a solid pick. And sticking with the Books A Million theme, we also had Grogu. So again, I don't know that Grogu is gonna be super valuable as of yet, but I mean, people do really love that character including myself. So he definitely could go up in value over time, but I know he was one that was $9.99, I believe, and currently he's 21. So he's already at 21 bucks because, and I do think people will continue to want to buy him. So I think that'll be a good one down the line. All right, let's run over to Hot Topic real quick, and we will talk about Hello Kitty. The Hello Kitty Diamond Edition is pretty much the value we paid for him. So $12.99, this is the value for it, and we'll see over time if that one ends up going up or not. Maybe not, but I just, just kind of like the sparkle. And I love cup of noodles, so we'll see what happens. All right, going from there, we went to GameStop. So for GameStop, we definitely had two that we got in store. We had Gremlins and we had Deadpool, the artist one. As far as cost that we paid, they were just normal price, but in all reality, we paid less. So I found the actual Gremlin that we have. So there's actually a couple other Gremlins that I was unaware of. I thought that was really only gonna be Spike and Gizmo. But there is a flocked gizmo, which I also want, that I had in my cart at Target, and then it just took it out, took itself out of the cart, which was great because it sold out. But there's also another one, uh, a 
couple other characters from Gremlins that I want to get, but this one that we were able to pay normal price for, maybe even half price if you consider the discount that we got, maybe six bucks or so, he is currently sitting at 22. So I think this one will be one that continues to go up. And how can you blame him? Look at that thing. It's so cool. Then moving over to the other character we got at GameStop, Artist Deadpool. He is sitting currently at 17 bucks. So again, we got him for normally is 11.99, but we had the discount off, so probably five or six bucks. Uh, there was no shipping because I actually went to the store. So sitting at 17, solid win. And again, he just goes well with the collection of other random Deadpools that we have. All right, now the last one I want to see. Boom. So this one I did pre-order, and I'm pretty sure it was 29.99. I think is what the cost is for the uh, larger movie scenes. So sitting there with Jaws, movie, shark eating boat, see the difference. We have the GameStop exclusive, is currently sitting at 55 bucks. Yes, and I had a feeling this one might because Jaws is just that awesome. So this will be one I'm very excited to keep and I was really excited when it got here. So I think that's a solid win. Overall, I think it was a great excursion. We got some really cool pops. We got some of the ones that I really been wanting from my childhood slash nightmares in my childhood. Overall, I think we had a great adventure hunting these Funkos and everything kind of came in looking pretty solid. So we'll be back pretty quick with uh, the next video. I may have done some auctioning, not selling, probably need to do that at some point, but I was able to secure a good number of new Funkos that we'll be reviewing from whatnot in an auction that I just had to not take advantage of, but I had to fully take advantage of the situation. So like, share, and subscribe and come back and check pretty quick. We'll be unveiling that big box of pops that I got from that auction. And don't forget, it is the time of season. It's the best time. More monsters to come. So, where we started was kind of, we've, it was a great day, but overall, it was a great fun, yeah. overall, it was a great Funko, overall, we had a great Funko hunting adventure day.